So could you please tell me about your diet, um, what you consume like on a normal day? Okay, uh, generally it's very Sri Lankan diet, a lot of rice and curry, uh, maybe string hoppers, uh, roti for dinner, lunch is generally a staple rice and curry. But apart from that, I do we do venture into uh, pizzas, some pasta, uh, and uh, the occasional steak. We don't get a lot of steaks here, but uh, it's a pretty all-round diet. Um, we don't have a specific diet, uh, unless of course we don't meet our fitness uh, standards or fitness requir requirements, and then we need to cut down and uh, cut down on our carbs and uh, increase on our protein. Um, what motto do you follow? Uh, no motto as such, but I believe in my judgment uh, of what I think is right and wrong. I always believe we, every, every time we have to make a decision, uh, we have the choice of doing something that's right and doing something that's wrong. And it's although it sounds a lot easy to say it uh, like this, out there it's a lot harder to do. Uh, and as long as you make the right decision all the time, I think uh, you'll be alright. Um, what is the best advice you can give to young people? Uh, work hard. There is no substitute to hard work. Uh, it's the only thing that I've found that uh, you know has guaranteed me consistent success uh, over the years in whatever I do. And uh, you know, it's it's also something that you learn to enjoy over time. Uh, if you start disliking hard work, uh, life becomes a chore. But once you start enjoying it, everything becomes more enjoyable. Um, which achievement are you most proud of? Um, I mean, obviously playing for Sri Lanka, uh, getting into the national team. Every Sri Lankan uh, dreams of playing cricket, dreams of playing cricket for Sri Lanka. And uh, I was able to do that uh, and I have been able to, you know, sort of play some good matches against uh, Australia uh, in the T20 World Cup, against uh, Kenya also in the T20 World Cup. But, uh, you know, the most memorable one was the first time I put on a Sri Lanka cap. Mm -hmm. um, um, green tea is, you know, something. Uh, I'm a generally uh, a coffee drinker. Uh, you know, it's got its milk and sugar if you want it in it. Uh, but green tea is different. I've actually had my best cup of green tea in China, uh, where it was prepared uh, very differently to what we used uh, back here and it certainly tasted much better uh, than I'm used to uh, and hopefully if you know we can get that preparation of green tea in Sri Lanka uh, I'll be a much bigger drink of green tea. Um, do you think that um, young people who lead a healthy lifestyle should implement uh, this beverage into their um, yeah. list? Uh, certainly don't see why not uh, especially if you're not actively involved in sports or you're physically if you're not physically exerting yourself uh, you have a whole load of ca uh, calorie intake uh, daily calorie intake uh, and not much of it is going out so green tea is a very good way of uh, maintaining that because it, once you come home you want a hot drink uh, in the morning you need to pick me up so uh, that's a very good alternative to what we got back home to you know caffeine or coffee or heavy drinks which have a lot of sugar, fat and calories in them.